Okay, so here we have the Shinsei Komatsu WA350 wheel loader in 150th scale. This is a, another 90s model. Nice piece. This particular piece has a lot of plastic on it. The handrails are plastic. The ladder is plastic. Um, the lights on the front are plastic. The fenders are plastic. I do like the piece. It is a nice piece, but again, a lot of plastic. Uh, these are not very easy to find. I got this one from Roy Ferguson Sales uh, for, I think, $45 or somewhere around there. It's a good price for the piece. Um, I highly recommend Roy Ferguson Sales. Great, great to deal with. Great shipping prices, great shipping times. I will be recommending several die-cast dealers throughout my videos. He just happens to be one of them, obviously, where this piece came from. This piece has a, a lot of features to it, and this particular model, loader model, is one of the very few that can actually, uh, the bucket can actually get up high enough to dump into the back of a sword semi-trailer or a, a 150 scale dump truck right here. The ladder and the grab rails to get up on the machine. There is some cutout plastic you can see there that's nice, it's nothing special. Again, plastic. They did an excellent job on the graphics, WA350. On the back, the Komatsu, they did a great job with the grill. Tire patterns, which by now, if you've been watching my videos, you can tell that I pay attention to, are very realistic. Not a whole lot of detail in the wheels themselves, but it is, it's, it's not, you know, it's not the newest piece that's come out. It's been out for a while. Uh, show you in front of the box. It does lift up quite high, as you can see there. Um, it dumps fully, which is a really nice feature. Dumps all the way. Uh, it has a, a decent dig depth to it for a wheel loader model. Here in the front you can see um, this model would have been better if they had painted the rivets that they used, but they're not incredibly huge so they don't take a whole lot away from the model. Turn it around so you can see the bucket. Bucket is well detailed, well made. I like buckets with the smooth edge instead of teeth. Um, to me, they're much more common. They did something kind of weird with the lights. They've just used like a mirrored paper, basically, for the lights. They are very unusual. Again, they are plastic and somewhat fragile. The other side of the model looks just like the side that you just saw. Nothing special. They did a nice job on the top with the grills and surfaces. Uh, obviously, they've molded some doors into the casting, a nice casting. Lots of plastic. Again, this exhaust stack, which is nice, but plastic. And plastic, obviously, is not necessarily what everybody wants. The inside of the cab is, again, very plain with a seat, a steering wheel, not too many other controls, not much to see. Show it from the back. You can kind of see the seat in the steering wheel there. Again, the back of the model. It's very nice, very nicely casted and detailed. Turn the model over. There is no detail whatsoever on the model, on the bottom of the model. Um, they also did not put any hydraulic cylinders as you can see in the articulation point at the time they made this model that wasn't a detail they thought of obviously overall a great piece for the price um, especially because die cast prices are going through the roof um, I'll get into that in another video um, but for the price it's a pretty nice piece looks good in a diorama looks great in a collection uh, if you can get your hands on one I believe Roy Ferguson Sales still has a few if you're interested in Komatsu loader models. It's a great piece for the price, and I would highly recommend getting it. 
that is about it for this review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Again, please like our Mike's Models 2011 Facebook page, and if you go there, you will see still shots of this model as well as many others that I have reviewed. Thanks for watching.